Hi, Marco. Hey, pleasure. Okay, the interview in English? Yeah, of course. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Rob St. Clair from Volleyball Source with victorious Serbian middle blocker Marco Podrashtinin. Did I pronounce bro, that correctly? Oh, really nice. Really nice pronunciation. Thank you. Thank you. We, 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 we try our best. <laughs> Congratulations on the 3-0 to zero win over the Netherlands. That was a crucially important result for your team in Olympic qualification hopes, not just to win, but to win in three sets. And that comeback on Pavle Peric's serve was tremendous. What did that look like from your vantage point? Yeah, unbelievable. The, uh, for sure, the third uh, set was crucial in the end, especially, like you said, Pavles are really, I think, three aces on the end. So it was really, really important because we are still on the track for the Olympic Games. We know that Cuba is in front of us, but we need to play step by step to just think about next rival. Tomorrow we have the uh, rest. And then we have three games in a row, so I need to be patient to prepare good uh, the game against the uh, USA, the last. Right. Serbia has not qualified for the Olympics since 2012, is yes. that correct? And I remember in 2016 you guys even won the World League, but because the system was different at the time, you weren't able to qualify. What? Uh, because are you the only player on the current team that has Olympic experience, or are there any others still remaining from that 2012 team? Uh, basically, I played also Beijing 2008, right. so I'm really old. I remember, <laughs> I remember. But I think also Tanisivic and Nuroš Kovacic played with me in London 2012, so it's really a shame, it's really awful to see the young guys, a lot of young guys, we are playing together almost 10 years in the same uh, uh, starting six. And to didn't play uh, not even one time World uh, Olympic Games. We won, like you said, World League in 2016. We won European Championship 2019, yes. but we didn't, didn't went to uh, Tokyo Olympic Games. So I think this is uh, maybe final chance for us. And we will, like I said, we will give our best to go there. Of course, of course. So let's see. The, with with your experience in the Olympics with some of your teammates and also your experience this season in Trentino winning the CEV Champions League, by the way, tremendous congratulations on that accomplishment. That was amazing to watch. What are some of the things that you and some of your teammates that have been around for a long time can teach some of your some of the next Serbian generation about what it takes to play at this high of a level? Like I said, to be focused for every for every practice, for every game, to try to improve every game, every practice. Because, like you said today, we can play with uh, for against every rival. We can win against every rival. We played uh, not bad tournament, the first one in Rio, but we lost uh, against Germany, who already qualified for the Olympic Games. So we need to say focus and just to think uh, the next trial. Like I said, uh, we have still a great chance to go there. Uh, also, the, the last uh, weekend we, uh, we are playing uh, versus Cuba, versus Slovenia, so directly rival for the going to Paris. And like I said, we will give our best. This is our last chance to go there. We, uh, so my, my colleague Everett and I, we have a show and one of our very favorite players is Dragan Stankovic. Oh, okay. We absolutely love Dragan Stankovic. I, I love watching you and him play back in 2008 and beyond. Do you have one good story about Dragan that you can share with us? Uh, basically, we played together first in uh, <laughs> first in Macerata for a lot of years. I think yes. seven years together. We play a lot of years together, also with uh, with the national team. Basically, then after I play with Lisinac, now I'm playing with uh, Krsmano, which are young guys. So basically, Bagagi was my like I said favorite player to play. Also, our families are really close and. Uh, I'm 37 almost right now, he's 39, but we are still playing in Italia Link. I think that Italia Link is the best one in the world and I really uh, cannot wait to see him now in Modena next, uh, next, by next month, I think. So we will give him a hug, a really big hug. We, we hope so. Congratulations on the win today. Best of luck the rest of the week, Marco. Thank you.